Are your VEX V5 motors weak, slow or overheating? Then your team might be mounting your motors incorrectly. Today we're going to go through step by step the proper way to mount a VEX V5 motor. Hello, I'm Mr. Code. Mounting your motor correctly on your robot is a crucial skill that can make the difference between a good robot and a great robot. In order to mount a motor, we need to prioritize three things. Firstly, the motor and drive shaft should be built securely in place and not wobble around. Secondly, the drive shaft must spin really, really well with as little friction as possible. And finally, the assembly should take as little space as possible. And here is all the equipment you'll need, okay? So we're going to use a 11 watt motor. It doesn't matter what kind of motor cartridge you have inside, it's all going to be the same. We're going to need uh, a motor insert, a drive shaft, a three hull bearing, and a C channel. Okay, and then of course you'll need some uh, spacers, some washers, some screws, and a shaft collar as well. Now I spent a lot of time researching and editing these video tutorials, so if you find the video helpful, then please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. It is your support that lets me continue making VEX videos, so I thank you in advance. Let's hop to it, shall we? So. Our goal is to put these together, basically. Now, this is just a scrap piece of C-channel, so it's not very clean, but it's going to do the job for today. So firstly, we're going to need this motor insert to cover up all that extra space that the high strength drive shaft would need. So you just slip that in. And the fit is very, very tight. But you're gonna notice that there is still a millimeter worth of space um, before it's actually flush with the plastic. So the drive shaft insert has gone in, but there's still a tiny millimeter of space. And what we do is we grab a washer and we fill that space in like that. Now it is going to be perfectly flush with the plastic. Put in your drive shaft. This is where we are going to put in a shaft collar. And then we still see that there is some space left. So we put in a eighth inch spacer. And then finally, in order, before we mount it onto the actual C channel, we put in one more washer. Now at this point, you can tighten up your shaft collar. So here, you put your shaft collar, make sure that the shaft collar screw is on a flat side of the drive shaft when you are tightening it up. You don't want it on the corner, otherwise it might slip. Now there's always a debate whether you mount the C channel where uh, the C is facing towards your motor or away from your motor, like this. Um, this is where we look at our three principles again. And our third principle is that we need to take as little space as possible with our whole assembly. And you'll find that when we have the C channel facing towards the motor, because the C-channel hugs around the mounting ports of your, uh, of your screws, uh, it takes a lot less space than if we are facing away from the motor. So that is why we're going to mount the C-channel facing towards the motor like this. Once we have the C-channel uh, put into place, then we put our three-hole bearing around our drive shaft and also around the screw ports, the screw holes. Uh, and then we tighten up the screws. And that's it. That's how you correctly mount a VEX V5 motor. My Robotics Center Creator Academy is dedicated to teaching kids about coding and robotics. If your team is looking for coaching advice, we provide remote coaching, building and coding assistance for teams all around the world. Visit www.creatoracademy.au or drop me a message to find out more. That's it from me today. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.